Welcome to February's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is copy list with random pointer. A linked list of length n is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer which could point to any node in the list or null. Construct a deep copy of the list. The deep copy should consist of exact blah blah blah. Um, so basically we have a linked list that has both a next pointer and a random pointer. Now this random pointer can point to any node inside of our list. And it could also point to the null. It could also point back to itself. Now, if we want to make a deep copy here, uh, we need to make sure that this random pointer isn't pointing to the old list. It's got to be pointing to the new list. So what we can do is regenerate our linked list, uh, make a copy with just the next pointers, and keep track of the old nodes to the new nodes inside of some sort of hash. Uh, once we create generate our new list, we could re-iterate down our new list, use our map to see what the next po the random pointer is pointing to and then point that random pointer to the one that's pointing to the new node instead of the old. Um, so I hope that makes sense. It's going to be in two stages, right? We first want to generate our new list as well as keep track of the hash of old to new nodes. And then we will update our new list with the new nodes for random. So to do this, I first need to start off by creating a couple pointers. Uh, what I'll do is create a dummy pointer as well as a new pointer uh, pointing to, at first, just, just some empty node here. Uh, and we'll also have a pointer for the current pointing to the head. All right, so first we want to generate our new list. For that, let's look up, create a hash Well, I'm going to map the old value or the old node to the new node that we generate. Okay, so while cur, what we want to do? Well, first we want to say, all right, new.next, we want to generate a new node with the cur.value. So now we have our new node. Now let's keep track of that inside of our old and new. So old new, uh, using our pointer, or I'm sorry, our current node is now going to be equal to the new.next, right? And we will move our cur to cur.next as well as our new to new.next so that we can keep generating our list. So now if we finish this, we should have a new linked list uh, with the dummy.next pointing to the head of it. All right, so that's great. But what about our random note, random pointers? Well, okay, so to take care of that, we first let's set our current pointer back to the head. And we'll also set our... Uh, new pointer back to the dummy dot next. So these are pointing to the heads of the old node and the new node. Now while cur, what do we want to do? Well, if cur dot random exists, okay, we want to update our new dot random to equal the old new of the cur dot random because now this is pointing to the new generated node that we stored here. And that's going to update that linked list to now point to the new node. So we just need to move our pointer now uh, and move our new to new.next. Finally, we can just return our dummy.next, which is pointing to the head of our new linked list. So let's make sure this works. Okay, that looks like it's working. Let's go and submit it. So there. Now this is a O of n time complexity, even though we pass twice, uh, but we do use extra memory. We use O of n extra memory in our hash. Now, could we avoid that? Now, in the hints here, they tell you, why don't you try interweaving the nodes of the old and copied list? So what that means is, instead of using a hash, what we can do is um, insert our new node or new list kind of like in between. So now this kind of can be used as our our hash instead of the old. Like if we want to know what the new node is, all we need to do is get that old node and see what's pointing to the next. And we can move our current pointer to go next next instead uh, to kind of move down the line to only point to the ones that are new. So this is going to go in three stages, right? We first want to insert our new nodes into uh, the old list. Then we want to go through and update the random pointers to point to the new nodes for the uh, list and then we want to remove these old nodes and then return whatever's left. Okay, so that's going to be in three stages. Uh, it will be in stage one, interweave, stage two, um, 
update random pointers and stage three remove old nodes all right so this is a lot trickier than i expected it took me a while to get the hang of this but uh, let's just start off by generating our dummy list or i'm sorry dummy node and what we'll do is um we'll have two pointers again um we can say well okay let's first start by saying okay dummy dot next is going to be equal to the head and a current pointer is also going to be equal to the head so while cur what will we do okay so we need some sort of temp variable to store the information for the cur dot next and regenerate our uh, node to now point to that so what i mean by that is we'll generate a node with the cur dot value here now the um let's see temp.next is going to be equal to cur.next and cur.next is now going to be equal to temp and after that we can just um, make our current pointer equal to the temp.next instead so that's going to interweave these new nodes inside of our old linked list okay all right so now stage two uh, let's re initialize our current pointer to the head we want to update our random and we can't we don't have a hash anymore right but luckily the values are inside of our linked list itself so we'll say while cur um, if cur dot random what do we want to do we'll say cur dot next dot random is equal to the cur dot random dot next so this random one is the old node now the random dot next is going to be the new node um, and then we will need to move our pointer to not the next one but the next dot next instead so that we don't update our old nodes okay so finally in stage three we want to remove our our old nodes right Okay, so we should have a current pointer pointing to the, um, well, well, let's start off with the dummy up here, okay? And we will have our, um, let's call it new, pointing to the head instead. So while new, what do we want to do? Um, we want the cur.next, let's point to the dumber, dummy. We want that equal to the new node this is the old node actually i should call it old so i don't get confused and we'll say make this equal to old.next instead uh, we should move our pointer then to the old and move our old to the current.next instead um, so th what this does here is it's going to be updating our um, our new pointer to point to the next one for, for, from the old and removing the old nodes. So after that, we can just return our dummy.next. Hopefully I didn't miss anything here. Let's see if this worked. Okay, great. So that looks like it's working. Let's go and submit it. Oh, okay. There we go. Accepted. So this is, um, I guess it's technically constant space because we're only updating our linked list. I'm not completely sure if that's true, uh, but it avoids using the hash. So I, I suppose that counts. Personally, I think using the hash solution is completely fine. Uh, but if memory was a problem, uh, then you could go with this solution. All right, so thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.